Hello, Coconut Creek family. My name is John Hartzell, and this is another Creek Talk. Today, I'm here with Abby Mosher of Tomorrow's Rainbow, and she's here to tell us a little bit about a, uh, a really fun campaign she's involved in that has her sitting in jail, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Abby, welcome. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so much for inviting me to join you today. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, before we get into the fun campaign you've got going on right now, could you tell our residents uh, especially for those that, that may not have ever heard of Tomorrow's Rainbow. What is the mission of Tomorrow's Rainbow? And if you're comfortable with it, maybe tell us how it got started. Absolutely. So Tomorrow's Rainbow works with children, teens, and families who have experienced grief, loss, or trauma. And we do that in a unique way at a miniature horse farm in Coconut Creek. And the reason that we actually got started was um, actually back in 2000 during my family's vacation, my husband, and my seven-year-old son, Dustin, and I were in Texas on a Texas highway, and we were involved in a head-on collision at 65 miles an hour. It killed my husband, Paul, instantly, and Dustin and I were both hospitalized. And while we were in the hospital, Dustin was in the children's hospital, and I was in the adult hospital next door. And I really could just keep my focus on one thing, and that was that no matter what it took, that's what I was gonna do to help Dustin and I heal from the tragedy. I didn't realize at the time that it was going to be a very long and a very lonely journey. I was a PTA mom over at Coconut Creek Elementary School, which is where Dustin teaches now. And as a PTA mom at, in a school district that was the sixth largest school district in the nation, I just assumed that there were going to be plenty of resources available to us. And what I found out was that Broward County didn't have a single children's grief center. And so that's when this PTA mom decided she was going to change the way grieving children were treated in our community forever. And I, there's no better place for tomorrow's rainbow than Coconut Creek, Florida, where my heart is. And so that's how we got started. That's amazing. Heavy, tell us a little bit about the campaign that you've got going on right now that, that has you kind of locked up. I am zooming from a horse trailer. It is a two horse horse trailer. Some people think it might be bigger than it is, but it is not. And it started through our pony jail and bail event, which we do every year here at the Tomorrow's Rainbow Ranch. And the city of Coconut Creek is always a sponsor of that. But because of COVID this year, we couldn't open the farm to 500 people. And so we had to take the, the show on the road. So we had our pony jail and bail trail. For two days, October 10th and 11th, we went all around Broward County and locked up our VIPs, our very important prisoners, as they raised bail, which we spell B-A-L-E, like a bale of hay, to support the Tomorrow's Rainbow Mission. It was a ton of fun, but as you can imagine, in the times of COVID and as well as the presidential election, the people's focus is elsewhere right now and so we didn't achieve our fundraising goals and after 15 years i felt like it was really time that everybody knew about tomorrow's rainbow that we weren't going to be the best kept secret in coconut creek any longer so when we got back that sunday evening um we had it had just poured down rain and i said that's it i'm not leaving i'm staying in this horse trailer until we meet our fundraising goal of a hundred thousand dollars and while we do that we'll be able to raise awareness and give a voice to children who are suffering with grief and trauma in our community. So since the 11th, I have been sleeping, working, everything in this horse trailer. I have not left. And I am committed to stay here until we achieve our goal. Wow, that is pretty amazing. So have you had any issues being in there overnight? Um, I've had a few little issues. Well, sometimes just being outright scared. Um, so, you know, I, the, the thing is you cannot sneak up on this horse trailer because even if a horse starts to step their foot on the ramp, I can feel it. So the good news is you can't sneak up on me. And then the business of tomorrow's rainbow didn't stop. I still had to run a children's charity. And so I had to figure all of that out. How was I going to get Wi-Fi out here? Um, you know, doing all of your work on an iPad was a challenge. So how I was going to switch that over to a computer and um, little by little, I've just kind of worked out some of the kinks. It's not, it's not luxury, but for children that are suffering in our community, um, they're going through some really tough times. And I think that it's only fair that, um, that I have a little bit of discomfort as I support them and bring a voice to them. I love it. It speaks to your heart. Um, we have left to raise $43,000. Excellent. So our goal, our goal was 100,000 and we're at 43,000. Um, I do stream twice a day on Facebook Live. So you can follow us at Tomorrow's Rainbow Inc. Um, you know, facebook.com slash Tomorrow's Rainbow Inc. 
just to give a little feel of, you know, how my day went, what I'm thinking about. And so it's just been a great time for me to, to really look inward as well and, um, and see how resilient I can be. Now, if, uh, if somebody wants to donate, uh, how do they go about doing that? Well, there's a few ways that you can donate. The, the one that puts the most money in our pockets is through Facebook because they don't take any fees out. So if you go to the Tomorrow's Rainbow page on Facebook, you'll actually see my Facebook fundraiser. Um, you'll see the amount that I'm raising gets reduced by what's left because the off, I'm putting the offline donations in there as well. So the numbers don't match up, but basically that number is what we have left to go, but I haven't updated it Oops, today. Um, and uh, so, you can, so you can donate on Facebook. You can also go to the tomorrowsrainbow.org and then up in the right hand corner is a big red button and you can click that and donate on our page there as well. Um, but equally as important, John, is that we are raising the funds and I'm committed to be here till that happens, but also raising awareness. Children, people who have had somebody important in their life die are resilient, but they're resilient with support. And so putting children and families in an environment that's that's healing like the outdoors and beautiful Coconut Creek and giving them the opportunity to normalize their experience and be with others that have shared experiences is so healing. And so we wanna make sure that nobody has to be alone in their grief in our community. Abby, we absolutely love having you and Tomorrow's Rainbow here in the city of Coconut Creek. You do uh, added a, a tremendous support system to our young people dealing with grief. Uh, and we hope that you do raise the rest of those funds. And I would like to put the, the plea out there to our residents. Uh, if you know you can help in some way, uh, we'd love to have you donate. They're a great organization. Abby, thank you so much for uh, being a part of this Zoom call. And that's another Creek Talk, Coconut Creek family. Stay well. Mm -hmm.